All right, how's it going, everybody? And let me tell you out of the bat, yes, Intel are actually better. I have the Ryzen 5 5600X myself. I'm having a lot of fun with it. It's one of the best gaming CPUs I've ever had, actually. But when you compare the i5-12400F with the Ryzen 5 5600X, the main setting point for the 12400F is value. The other thing is that it's future-proof. You have a better upgrade path if you decided to go with Intel because it's newer. But when it comes to these assumptions or these differential thoughts that would make the 12400F superior, they're not 100% correct, you know. We talk about the price. Yes, the 12400F right now goes for $180. That's a very competitive price compared to the $220 5600X, actually. But the only flaw is that the cheapest motherboard at a lot of times on you and Amazon goes for $100. Right now, at the time of making this video, the H610M board goes for $80 this is great actually in my opinion this is one of the best cpu board combos you can get on the market and you can pair it with the highest end gpu you can find actually for a good price you'll have the best performance if you decided to get the 5600x uh, and a cheaper board the cheapest board on amazon right now that's rising fifth gen ready is for 65 dollars or something like that but still you'd go with the intel i know that but this is where it gets tricky at the time of recording this video the next refresh lineup of uh, ryzen cpus haven't been released yet but they look really promising the ryzen 5 5600 this is a non-x cpu with the 5600x so i would say we're looking at five percent difference in performance but the pricing will be really intriguing on amd themselves the site they say this is the seller expected price so it's not 100 correct you know these cpus might be for a lot cheaper than what they are stating it will be for. it will give you the best value for money when it comes to gaming and getting the good performance like we're looking at 10 to 15 percent difference uh, between it and the 12400 but when it comes to gaming i'd say it's barely visible you know because AMD CPUs are really good in gaming actually. There is one thing and the other thing is that the boards are pretty cheap so the overall cost will be like $40, $50 cheaper and if you are a budget gamer this is very critical and you're getting the most out of your money which is very good. Now yeah there is one more edge that Intel has over AMD which is it's more future proof. Uh, the Intel 12th gen lineup is actually better in terms of the higher end CPUs that it offers. And this is where it gets tricky. If you decided to go with um, an H610M board or a B660M board, the one major thing that nobody tells you is that these boards will not be upgradable. Uh, you cannot have a 13th gen CPU in these boards because they don't support DDR5. So you're paying around 80 to 120 dollars on a board that only supports one lineup of CPU. For budget gamers, it's crazy. For a lot of other high-end gamers, it's not. So in my opinion, the best bet to get a 12th gen CPU is to pair it with a Z690 board, which kind of seems okay, but right now it's pretty crazy. A $150 board compared with like $180 on a CPU. It's pretty crazy. And when you also look at the higher-end CPUs, the 12th gen CPUs, yeah, they are better than AMD. So if you decided to upgrade to a higher-end Intel CPU in the future, like a 12900F, for example, or a 12600K, 12700K, and not overclock it even, it will be a good option. But at the time of that, I think it doesn't make any sense to pair a $300 CPU on like a very cheap board. You can just sell it all together. The thing is, if you found a good deal on AMD CPU and AMD board, I think it's pretty like you know uh, obvious the best thing you should do is to get it over intel but when i think of that the only thing that comes to my mind is the future proofing and the value but actually no it's not future proof as much as you think you know and the value can be really tricky it depends on the deals and this is the verdict if these next gen ryzen cpus are actually having good value for the money I'd pick him over the i5-12400 at some time. Uh, but at the end of the day, anything you go with will be really good value for money. I'm pretty happy that the budget market is overwhelmed with, you know, options. So hey, yeah, that's been it. If you like the video, press on that like button. If you have any opinion, leave it down in the comments below. I'm gonna read it. And uh, yeah, see you in the next one. And uh, peace.